Hey YouTube Gundam here, really quick video. First, what is that? This is actually my turbots. I put on the Halloween camouflage because the stock camouflage I get only gives 50% experience while this gives 100%. I've been going through my extra camos to get just that little bit extra experience for two reasons. One, I need a ton of experience although I'm out of doubloons, I'll get those later. But I need a ton of experience because I just kind of spent a lot on this thing. You'll see this thing, the Izumo, has very little experience left. But you'll also see there's a lot more anti-aircraft guns on this thing. First off, there's these five right here, these little guys. Then there's these two triples. These four triples. There's another secondary sitting here. There's still these two up here those two triples these four singles and uh, I believe in the back yep there's a few more singles there so there's way more any air defense now the AA defense is 24 single 25 millimeter guns with a 3.1 click range 3.1 click on the triple guns but there's 20 of them 20 triple guns and then there's eight dual guns, those 127s with 5 click in air range. I have the propulsion upgrade which gives me a max speed of 28 knots instead of the uh, 27.2. This goes 21.7 instead of 19.7 uh, so that's something. This is what it was. So all I have left to research on this thing, although I've got the free experience, I don't want to use it. All I have left to research is the Izumo C, which will increase my secondary guns by two more, and increase the AA mounts by 12. So there's that. Basically, it's just all anti air. A little bit of other stuff. Where in the world are. Oh, yeah, these things in the back. Forgot. Yeah. Oops. So, yeah, the Izumo's on its way, and then after that, it's just a. The big one. The. Why does it say 309? It said 249. Now it says 309. What? At any rate, this is the monster I want. Yeah, it says 249 instead of 309. So, what in the world? I don't know. Um. Uh, yeah. Also, I'm very close to getting the uh, next ship here. Getting close to the Colorado by here. The, and I know the Colorado's garbage. But I've been using the other stuff on my turpits because of additional camouflage. Because of this. I'm in stage 5. And this is all I need left. I have 40,000 experience total required. I have 8,245 of that. So subtract... 8,245 from 40,000, you get just over 31 and a half, about 32,000, just under 32,000 experience. I need just under 32,000 experience to get my very first ARP ship. And yeah, she's pretty. On a side note, um, I actually went to a um, dating site and found a woman from the Philippines who was mentioning about me being her gardener every day, um pollinating her flower every single day um, she's just interested in doing that she also asked me to explore her tight um, particular body part that begins with a P I'm not gonna say it but yeah she said that I just said you know what I don't just want a woman for that sorry I want someone I'm gonna be happy with someone that we can have a good you know we can have fun with we can talk to. I don't just want lots and lots of bedtime stories with. There's another young woman from the Ukraine, actually, on that site who's been talking to me in a little bit. Um, she hasn't responded yet, but she seems more promising, perhaps. At least she isn't saying, hey, uh, here's a nice uh, poem about nighttime pleasantries, and I want you to be my gardener pollinating my flower every single night and she offers me everything I want and ask for I'm like you know what you're just lying to me 
You're just using me. No thank you. And I don't just want a woman for bedtime stories. I want someone I can have a life with, start a family with. Though she said she'd give me three or four kids, I'm like, no. Because I don't just want someone to sleep with. And that's basically all she would have been. So there's that. I'm still pretty young. It is my birthday today, November 10th. Uh, so there's that. Um, I'm still pretty young. Uh, so one of my birthday gifts over the next week is going to be that uh, Takao uh, ARP. Very finally. Um, other than that, I'm going to run through a bunch of stuff, and I'm still single, but um, it is interesting to have heard that poem, excuse me, read it, and interesting to hear what she had to say about that. I didn't even think of those innuendos before. And it's, well, there's still that Ukrainian woman, so maybe, and if not, there's like 50 other admirers on this site, so there's that. Um though it's sad that women think the only way to get a man to even look at their profile is to dress up in bathing suits instead of dresses <sighs> the banana split bananas ice cream whipped cream syrup and cherries on top most men say the cherries on top is the heart and mind, and the rest is the body. And they usually throw away the cherries on top to just enjoy what they think is the rest, a.k.a. the body, and they don't care about the rest. Me, and anyone with half a brain, says the cherries on top is the body. How many or how few? Yes, having more cherries on top, having a better body would be better, but... They're still just the cherries on top. The ice cream, the bananas, the whipped cream, the syrup, that's the heart, mind, and soul. Now, there is no Mrs. Perfect. There is no Mr. Perfect. No one is perfect. And there are several people with plenty of flaws. Shoot, I've got some. But, you find that most guys say they just want what is actually the cherries on top though they call it the whole thing when it's not they completely ignore the rest they say you know they just want the body and that's it they just want what actual men say is the cherries on top a woman's body is the cherry on top or cherries like Angelina Jolie Megan Fox they would in their prime would both have like several nice ones instead of some that are slightly hard or very few but it is still just the cherries on top. I actually was going over discussions with, this at, with friends at work recently. A lot of the guys there say, no, the cherries on top is the heart and mind. And this other guy has said, no, the cherries on top is the body. He said, I don't care, though. I'll just have the body and that's it. It's wrong. The thing is, women think they should just give men the cherries on top, and that's it. Women all over think that. Or that, or they completely ignore men saying they're horrible beings that need to be eradicated. I firmly believe the cherries on top, how few or many, is just the body. The rest of the banana split is the heart, mind, and soul. If I am with a woman, I am not with her just for the cherries on top. I'll enjoy the cherries on top someday, eventually, sure, but if I'm with a woman, it's because I've accepted her for the entire banana split. Not just the cherries on top, and not just what left there is that I like, and ignore what I don't like. If I'm accepting her, I'm accepting her for the whole thing. And I'm ignoring the cherries on top until I truly decide that I want to be with her for the rest of my life and she decides she wants to be with me for the rest of my life. That's what I believe. 
I'm still single about it, and I'm, yeah. Like, you take a look at this young woman here for this. You say, okay, she's got eh, a little bit up top, nice curves, good hair, a, a bit in the bottom, but that's it. Actually, I do think this is that one cruiser from the other one. But you say, you know, that she's got a few cherries, but not like a ton. Um, uh, yeah, she's got a few cherries for the body. Is she kind? Is she gentle? Is she good with kids? Is she humorous? Does she want to go out and party, get drunk? Does she think men are there just for sex and that's it? Does she want your heart or does she want your wallet? Like my ex-girlfriend did. I tried so hard to make that work. But eventually I said enough because I realized all she wanted was my wallet. And I just realized I didn't take out the Molotov. It still got the plus 50%, so I'm going to have to... Uh... Yeah. Okay. <sighs> there are so many who are messed up uh, to what is important what does not. I may be single, but I know what I truly want. And I also know that what I truly want is actually that which is truly good. Not just what I think is good, but it isn't in fact. I'll catch you later.